Hey, my name is uh, Rabbi Gabriel Mont. I'm the uh, headmaster of the Lewis and Sarah Block Yeshiva High School since 1996. Um, the late Donna Jones, uh, who we are eulogizing today, uh, had worked for me for the past 18 years, uh, was actually here before I arrived. Um, I want to talk about her because um, the, uh, the, the void that uh, we find ourselves in needs to be explained. Uh, the pain is so great um, for so many people, so many people work here for students, for friends, for alumni. Um, and I do want to explain it in a way that the family and all those who knew her uh, could possibly understand. Um, one of the uh, focuses of this school is that it is like the heart, it's kind of the center, uh, it's the mind, it's the spirit of the community. Um, doesn't have a fancy look about it, it doesn't have uh, appearances, it doesn't have that material, corporal kind of entities. Uh, hardly has arms and legs. It's got a heart. It's got a very deep heart. Compassion. Uh, spiritual. spiritual, And um, the center of that center was Donna. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how difficult it is in the environment that we live in today uh, with the drives for materialism, with the drives for all sorts of things, uh, with the pressures and the stresses, um, the almost desire upon you, uh, pressure upon you to sort of become a fake and a fraud and appearance and do something that, you know, the world will say, ah, what a great person, a great, per a great, great school. Um, to have someone uh, who understands the real human compassion, who treated everybody with this equanimity, equal, equal feelings that everybody, every kid, every faculty member, she cared for, cared for deeply, she protected us, she worried about every single person, whether it was the teacher with the diabetes, whether it was the teacher who had a financial problem, she was always there, concerned because she was the heart of this heart. Um, many times uh, I would come back and become almost desolate, disappointed with my life, with the way things are going for the school. Um, this boys school alone, uh, in the last six years we've moved four times to different buildings. Uh, it was her and her devotion and her dedication and her belief that if you're compassionate if you're spiritual, if you believe in the divine at all times, we will overwhelm the odds. And we did. And the person who encouraged all of us, the rabbis, the academic staff, the parents with their problems, the board with their financial issues, the person who consistently and constantly encouraged us to continue to be the heart was Donna. I think the pain is not just, okay, who's going to organize the transcripts, who's going to organize uh, the school events and so on and so forth. That's true, but, and that's difficult. But the real difficulty that I find is, who am I going to turn to when things get really rough? Uh, when everybody's out to get you because you're not doing this thing or that thing, who is there to say, right, Monk? Just stay with the truth. Just stay with what is spiritual. Just pray. Just believe in God. And I think that if you understand what I'm trying to say here, at that level there are no differences uh, between Judaism and Christianity. At the, at the level of the center of the heart of all, all of the Judeo-Christian religions, at that heart of the mind, of the center, when you're away from the edges in which uh, we all fall apart, 
uh, and we get into sin and we get into desire and uh, power and money and all those things if we just stay at the center uh, and there is a thesis for that center it's not just compromise I mean there's a real center called the mind the brain the heart the compassion uh, if we can stay there then we would all be together uh, we'd all be as one and I think she really understood that she lived that kind of life um, she had no interest in anything that was fake anything that was unreal everything was true is honest and to be that voice that says to you stay at the center just don't go out to the edge you'll be okay keep true to your heart keep true to God that was a message that what I'd like to say is how great is God that he created such a person how great is God that for 18 years Blanca Shiva High School merited to have a person of that capacity who was truly the anchor of this school and I don't think and with all the very bright teachers that we have here and all the very smart rabbis and learned rabbis and everything else I don't think that we honestly can fill that space uh, that heart of a school that is trying to promote the heart uh, if we could fill it it really is very painful to me uh, to my family um, to the entire block family to many alumni that have called me uh, this is really a tough tough crossroads for block yeshiva high school i do hope that we and the family who experienced her personality who experienced her beliefs who experienced her ability to stay close to that center of compassion to not be entrapped by so many different uh, desirable entities out there stimulations uh, if we can stay with her lessons uh, then maybe we'll bring a better world and a world in which we can finally say we have perfected what we came here for thank you